good afternoon. We are heading into Aldi. Hopefully we have, bless you, sun makes us sneeze. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. Yeah, the sneezer sneezers. Donna and Cece are already getting the buggy. Here we go. We have lots of cookie sheets. This is a mega, but these are $9.99. They have this brown color or black. These have a diamond pattern surface. These are just flat. A three-piece glass baking dish set for $12.99. That's a good deal. Three-piece cooling rack for $8.99. And some silicone baking mats. Silicone loaf pan and muffin pans. These pots are really pretty. They're called Awesome Pot. They have green or black. They have these measuring cups. They're really pretty. They're $5.99. Stand mixers for $49.99. Blue ones are gray. Oh, are they digital? French press, $14.99. Some ceramic canisters for $7.99. Is it a two pack or just one? It's a two canister set. It's a pretty good deal. I think the big ones are just one. We found the Christmas stuff. They have some big trees, big light up trees. They're $19.99, they have pink or green. I saw red in the ad, but they just have pink or green here. You wanna see this guy, watch. Uh-oh, the try me didn't work. They have some little ones over here, little bitties. These are cute. Yeah, you wanna see the little one, the tree? They have a snowman, a Santa, and a little gingerbread guy and some gingerbread houses back here. I don't know how much these are. We have some village houses here, a school, a church. This one, is this the same gingerbread house I got last year? It's kind of like it, isn't it? A toy store. They have some medium-sized trees right here too. They're $9.99. They have these pretty snow globe candles. This one's peppermint butter cream, sweet cinnamon wood. They have these holiday canvas bins. It's a three pack for $9.99. I think they had these last year. A two foot tabletop tree for $8.99. Some wreaths for $6.99. Some throw blankets over here. This one's really pretty. They are, oh, only $9.99. Hmm. They have some air fryers, $39.99. Rice cooker, $19.99. More throw blankets over here. They have some with Christmas trees on them back there. Or is that maybe a fall tree? That could be a fall tree. <laughs> Comforter sets, marked down to $29.99. Cheese it puff. The kids love these. We're gonna get some of those. I'm looking for those cookies we got last time. I bet they've already sold out of them. Oh, some cupcakes right here. Can we get the cupcakes? They have chocolate and vanilla. Do you like chocolate and vanilla? Yeah. Okay. They have these cookies. These look, are these cookies? They look pretty good. Home style cinnamon sugar rice crispy treats. Look at these little soups. Double noodle and they have little goldfish crackers. That's adorable. They are $2.28. I mean, you could just, you know, buy some goldfish crackers separately and all that jazz, but that is really cute. They have sparkling cranberry apple cider, spiced apple waterloo, lemon lime, orange vanilla, pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Let's get them. And pumpkin spice cappuccino. Why here be, why here, why? Just gonna sit with you? Okay. Hey mama, what about squash? You like squash? Yeah. Cantaloupe. Oh look, cranberries. You know it's getting close. They have apple cider donuts. Let's get them you too. So we found the cookies. We're getting two of them. They also have the maple leaf cream cookies. Cream cookies? Mm -hmm. Let's get them. Jonah found some Takis. We always get a couple of our favorite. Uh-oh, there might only be one box of the chewy dipped peanut butter. Oh, no, I see another one. We have the Aldi cinnamon rolls. What is this? Smoked beef brisket macaroni and cheese. Hmm. They have pumpkin pie spice butter spread. Also cream cheese, pumpkin spice, and salted caramel. Turkeys have arrived. We tried those crustless peanut butter and grape jelly sandwiches. They taste just like Uncrustables. They're a little bit cheaper. Pumpkin pies and apple pies over here.
All right, y'all, we are back home. I'm gonna go ahead and get supper started real quick. This is a slow cooker meal, but it doesn't take long. It only takes two to three hours on low in the slow cooker, mainly because we cook the ground beef first. So we're gonna cook the ground beef with an onion and drain it. This is the upside down Frito pie. It looks really good. This was a little over two pounds of ground beef. I think like 2.25 pounds. It's definitely starting to feel like the holidays when you're out and about. Putting out the turkeys and the pumpkin pies. A little bit of Christmas dashed here and there. Some places Christmas is everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and get out all the stuff that we're gonna need. And then while this is finishing up, we'll put the stuff up from Aldi real quick. We're gonna use these two packs. Chili seasoning, one can of Rotel, one can of tomato sauce, one can of pinto beans. First of all, I did get this set of cookie sheets. The cheese it puffed. I told him to try one. You wanna try one of these? Let us know how they are. Here's how they look. Let us know how it is. Mm, yummy. Yummy? Apple cider donuts. We'll see if these are as good as the ones from the farmer's market. What do we have in here? Bread that I accidentally smushed just a little bit. These, we'll see how they are. They look like they're gonna be really good, but I still don't know where they cook. I mean, they say with a touch of sugar, so I'm assuming they're cookie-like. We'll see. The maple leaf cream cookies. Two of these spice cookies because they are amazing. When I first got these, they were over on the Aldi finds aisle. This time they were just over there with the regular cookies. So if you're looking for them at your Aldi, check both places. Two boxes of the chewy dip peanut butter granola bars. We got some squash, mild cheddar, cantaloupe, grape jelly, two cans of the bakehouse cinnamon rolls. I got one of the silicone baking mats, vanilla wafers, and some of the fun Christmas preview stuff in here. Except for this, this isn't a Christmas preview. I just got some of those little measuring cups. These are ornaments, but I'm not gonna use them for ornaments. I'm gonna use them for my hot cocoa station because I did it like gingerbread stuff last year, you know? And you look, look what I can do. Yeah. Hmm. I have the bigger one that we got from Aldi last year, so we're gonna add this one to the collection and we got the little gingerbread man too. Let's see if his tree lights up good. Yep. And I got two of the snow globe candles. I think it's plastic. So the peppermint buttercream and the sweet cinnamon wood. This one smells really good. Okay, we're shaking in both packs of chili seasoning. We're gonna put the ground beef mixture in here. So we put in the can of Rotel. Well, I mean, y'all know I have the great value kind, but it's like Rotel. Now we're pouring over the tomato sauce. I think I'm gonna go with a little bit more tomato sauce because I am using a little bit more ground beef than the recipe called for. And even though this was already a little bit, you know, bigger of a can of tomato sauce, I still think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Or do I just wanna add some more diced tomatoes? I think we'll just go with another can of Rotel. I think that'll be fine. I just, I don't want it to be all dried out. I feel like since I used a little bit more ground beef, like I said, even though that is a little bit more sauce, I'm, I'm fearful of dried out meat. So we're gonna put in one more can of Rotel. We're gonna cover it and it's gonna cook on low for two hours. Oh yes, I'm feeling much better about this. Much better. So that's it for now. When the two hours is up, we'll put pinto beans and cheese on top and then just put the lid back on and let it cook for about 10 more minutes to warm up the beans and melt the cheese. And all we'll have to do then is get the other toppings ready. stir this together I am very glad I put that other can of Rotel in here now we're gonna pour over the one can of pinto beans I did drain them and then we're gonna top it with some shredded cheddar you know what do we need two cans of pinto beans I think we do I mean that's not a lot of, we're gonna put one more can of pinto beans in here oh 
Oh yes, that's better. Now the cheese. So now we just cover it again and we're gonna cook it on low for just about 10 minutes. Just to warm up the beans and melt the cheese. gonna be an overflow that's we fine. don't care if it overflows that's okay we're gonna keep it real <laughs> mm, I lost my mate that's a two bowl deal there two bowl that's good